Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I want to do uh, just kind of a more simple piece with palette knife swipes. I, it's been a while since I've strictly done just palette knife swipes. I've usually uh, combined it with something else and I really just, you know, I have a color palette I want to bring back and I really just want to let the paint speak today. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> so let's go get started. All right, let's go over the colors of cell activator in the pillow and then we will get started painting. So my first color, I have got the Golden Fluid Iridescent Bright Gold. And my paints, all my paints today are mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix. I don't have, I, I only, I'm only using one today. <laughs> but, and it's pretty warm in here, so my paints are on the thinner side. But there's that one. And then my next color, I've got a mix of my uh, PBS Studio Acrylics, the Iridescent Blue Black, and then the Golden Fluid Turquoise. And what I do, I love this color. I've used this color on this channel in the past. What I do is I usually mix this up with my pouring medium, and then I'll just add uh, a few squirts of the turquoise in. And let's see if you can see that. I mean, it's got this really pretty uh, blue, violet blue undertone. I love, love, love this. <laughs> Similar to the next color we're going to be using, I do the same thing. This is the uh, <clears throat> Golden Fluid Permanent Violet Dark. And again, with the blue black. And again, I start with this and then I'll add a few squirts of this in. And clearly I love this color a lot because I've mixed up a big batch. <laughs> but uh, you can see the iridescence in that. So those are the three colors we're gonna use today. And I only have one cell activator today. Shocker, I know. <laughs> I'm actually just using my uh, Atelier Interactive. This is Mars Black. It's mixed with Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Floetrol, one part paint. <clears throat> and my pillow. For my pillow, I have got about a half a container left, which should be plenty. This is my PPG Multi Pro. So that's the pillow we're going to use today. Now I'm going to bring you over to the canvas and kind of explain what we're going to do. So let's go get started painting. All right, real quick, this gold I just showed you, I misspoke. It's not the uh, iridescent bright gold. It's the iridescent gold fine. My bad. I'm looking, I'm like, wait a minute, it's not that bright. So at any rate, <laughs> it's, it's this gold. It's not the bright gold. Sorry about that. All right. For this piece, I have got a 10 by 20 standard canvas and I've taped up the back there. And I want to just kind of do some palette knife swipes. I haven't done that in a while and I want to let the paint speak and we'll see what comes of it with these colors. So I'm going to get this flooded and we'll get started painting. All right, I've got this all flooded and I think I'm gonna use my favorite palette knife. I'm gonna get this loaded up with paint and I'll show you what we got. All right, I have got the black cell activator and then I have the turquoise mixture, then the purple and then the gold. And we're just gonna go with the flow here.
All right, I like what's happening here so far, but I did, if you notice, I had more of a reaction here. My, uh, the, the black cell activator with the Atelier, it was a bit thick, so I actually mixed up uh, uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black. This is also four to one with Australian Floetrol. And Amsterdam always mixes up thinner and I wanted a little bit more cells in this. So I mixed that up really quick off camera, but I just wanted to show you the consistency and I'll have it at the end of the video in pictures. Right now we're gonna spin this out. I might add something else, I might not. I just wanna kinda of see where this goes. here or just kind of continue to spin and open it up a little bit more. Let me just do one more spin first and then I'll then I'll decide. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put something right in here and just a little something up here, just some smaller swipes. I am really, really liking this. Everything about it. <laughs> Let me just check my paint movement. No, I think I'm pretty good. Do I like it like that? I like it like that, and I like it like that. All right. Not too much spinning on this. I just wanted to get enough paint off, but I did open up the cells and just the movement in this piece. This is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> I am going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole before I bring you in. I've got my flash on too, because there's some, there's going to be some really nice shimmers in here. And I absolutely love the movement of this piece. This was really so much fun. The paint spoke. <laughs> Uh, but I did get some more cells after I mixed up that, uh, uh, the Amsterdam always mixes up, uh, even doing it the same ratio at four to one, it always mixes up a bit thinner. So, and I wanted a little bit thinner, so I just decided, all right, we're just gonna mix it on the fly, but that gold in there, oof, I love everything about this piece. And I love just like the movement of this. I mean, it looks like it's just in motion. It's so cool. <laughs> Uh, I haven't done one of these in a little while, just strictly palette knife swipes and just letting the paint speak. And I absolutely, this was so much fun. 
I can't wait to see this, how this dries. So I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. All right, here it is how it dried. I've got, I've got a light on today. It's, uh, it's a bit dark and dreary out. It's a rainy day, but uh, I wanted to bring some light in here. I can't, couldn't bring it out, this one outside, but uh, I love how this piece dried. I did have a little bit of squirreliness with my cells and I'll kind of point that out and I'll tell you why, but I don't think it detracted from this piece at all, but I, I absolutely love the movement of it. So let me just dive in. We'll, uh, we'll look at the shimmers. There are some really nice shimmers, but oh, I just love, you know, and if you remember, I was having a little bit of trouble. My uh, cell activator was just a bit too thick, so I made a new one to thin it. And some of these cells, because I just made it and it was kind of thin, some of these cells kind of collapsed on themselves, but it just really made some cool patterns. So I'm not mad about it at all. And here too, they kind of, they wanted to go their own way. And I'm absolutely okay with that here too as well. They kind of, they didn't stay kind of round. They kind of went their own way, but I absolutely love how this here just kind of flows along. Ugh, this this is what I wanted to do. The, the paint has spoken, but this is kind of what I had envisioned in my mind. And I absolutely love this piece. So let's go check out some of the shimmers and then other orientations. Yeah. See, it's kind of like the... The, the shimmers are a bit of a secret when you're looking at it on the wall, but as you're moving it, that blue-black in those two colors and then the gold just kind of brings it more to life. I absolutely love this. All right, let's go check out. And I love that right there too. That's probably one of my favorite spots. Let's go check out some of the ori other orientations. I really like it this way on the vertical. And here it is upside down. It looks really nice this way too. And then here's the other vertical position. You know what? Not a bad orientation. <laughs> I like all four ways, but I think the first one was my favorite. And then the first uh, uh, vertical way. But let me know. I'd love to hear your favorite orientation of this piece. I'm going to flip you around and give you my final thoughts. Definitely not a bad orientation on this piece. I love all four ways, but... I am having a hard time trying to decide which is my favorite. I think the first and the second, but I don't know. The longer I look at this one, I really like this one too. <laughs> but I really love just putting the paint on my palette knife and just kind of letting it flow out. That's probably one of my most favorite ways to paint. You know, I love my blooms and, you know, doing transfers and all that good stuff too, but there's just something to be said about just letting the paint flow. And so this was really a lot of fun to do. And I would love to hear uh, your favorite orientation on this piece and how you liked it overall as well. So let me know in the comments below. With that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.